All right, so we're back in the arcade where everything begins uh, in the arcade, at least where the, the, the money starts to come in for video games. Now we're going to play basketball. Uh, so we finished up everything from 1973, and now we're on to 1974. This is basketball from Taito. This one is, again, another game not using a microprocessor. It just transistor to, to, uh, to transistor logic. So the game we can't play. We have to have a simulator, and we don't have one. There is nothing that could play this. But uh, we can check out the artwork. There's the cabinet. And then uh, advertisement flyer. How to play the game. Still using uh, coins for the arcade cabinet. But the characters, if you can see the the characters on screen, it's so rudimentary that it's essentially the same game as Pong. The characters are just moving up and down, and then a ball is going to bounce around, and they're calling it basketball. But we all know it's basically Pong, at least at this point. So i uh, got to give you a rating of zero. Basketball from 1974. Okay, let's move on to Rebound. Rebound's another game that is not using a microprocessor. You can see the gameplay. It's using Pong, but not really. It's uh, paddles at the bottom, and then you bounce the ball back and forth. It has uh, different physics of the ball, which is kind of nice. Uh, but this one, uh, let's check out what some of the artwork is. They're, they're trying to play this off like you're playing volleyball. So, um, rather go outside and play volleyball myself than play Rebound. It's a whole new ball game. Has all these exciting features. New fast-paced action. We saw the action. Oh, yes, it was fast-paced. <clears throat> all right, there's the arcade cabinet for rebound. And there's some screenshots there. But uh, we're going to uh, see what the manual has. Anything? Okay, it's got uh, a, a, the actual technical manual because this is an arcade cabinet. And it's the computer service manual. Anybody that worked in the arcade industry pretty much had to be an electrical engineer. And I give them props. I know some. Thanks, guys. All right, let's give this zero stars since we can't play it. Okay, let's go on to Quadrapong in 1974. This one is Pong, but being placed on four fr frames or each side. It uses a cocktail cabinet, so really good for uh, bars, places where people had drinks that they could drink and play. Uh, <clears throat> in between doing pool, I guess, you played Quadrapong back in 1974. Let's check out some of the artwork for Quadrapong. <laughs> There's the champion. I am the uber nerd. Atari Leisure Time Game Center Retail Merchandising Program. So this is just getting into the beginning of advertising and marketing what a video game was. They're still using similar tactics as to how they sold uh, 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 pinball or other carnival or attractions in arcades. Because arcades already still existed. So they're using similar tactics to sell all these systems. Let's see, oh yeah, oh yeah, so they're trying to market uh, what the system is. They're getting pretty technical, but you notice there's not a lot of flashiness, and at least not too many, too much flashiness yet. We're only in 1974. Atari announces Quadrapong. If you thought one Pong was good, four is even better. That's really not what they said, but that's what I would say. So there's Quadrapong, there's another one. <laughs> Everyone's having a blast. This is the German advertisement for Quadrapong. Love it. Let's see if the manual has anything for us. Nope, just looks like schematics of the the, uh, the board. So we'll give this one zero stars since we cannot play it. All right, we're moving on to Clean Sweep. Oh my gosh, there's sound. <laughs> Plug your ears now. This is Clean Sweep from 1974. Another one that does not have any um, uh, microprocessor, so we won't be able to play this one. Let's check out the artwork on Clean Sweep. First one or two player game with true pinball action. So they're trying to sell the pinball focus of this, which we're already out in the, out in the wild. Clean Sweep is a major money-making breakthrough in coin-operated video games. Oh, video games, eh? I've heard of them. There's a picture of the arcade cabinet. That's clean sweep. Pretty simple and inspiration for breakout, which we'll pretend we haven't heard yet, where you're bouncing things off the side and trying to erase parts of the screen. So that's clean sweep, uh, but since we can't run it, actually it says we can play it. I wanna see what happens if we try. So this is um, May of 1974. Pretty sure this one is going to run. Yeah, we're not 
Yeah, it does not run. This one does not have a microprocessor. So, sorry, we gotta give you zero stars. Someday. Someday. All right, so this is TV basketball. This is uh, another version of the same basketball we had seen earlier, near the end of 1974. TV basketball from Midway. Midway. I like the name. that uh, I like that name. Maybe we'll hear from them again. Much better advertisement. Showing all the specs of what you can do for TV basketball. There's a picture of the cabinet. Four players. Looks like each, four, each player is moving one person back and forth. And by the person, uh, they look like that. <laughs> but it's a it's another variation of pong. Ball's gonna bounce around. One person's just move up and down. But you at least can for, uh, control one of the four people on screen. All right, so can't run this one. No microprocessor inside. All right, so looks like our next one is Pin Pong from 1974. This one again does not have a microprocessor. This one has awesome artwork. Love the blue. Unique new video concept. So pin pinball already exists. This is the the first video game based on pinball. I have no idea why they would want to make this when you can have realistic pinball and play that instead. Can you see what the game looks like? The game itself is trying to, to represent the physics of pinball. And the flippers are those lines at the bottom. I don't know how well this sold. It, it couldn't have sold well. Because it was going against real pinball. But it was the first. This is the very first trying to turn pinball into a video game. Pin pong. But it's using pong, so everyone loves pong. It's 1974, man. You gotta love pong. Atari's new unique concept. So Atari is trying, again, using pong, but trying to uh, get pinball into video games. There's an example of the cabinet and then some artwork for us. Love it. Manual have anything for us? No, nope, just the opera uh, uh, operation and maintenance manual. All right, got to give it zero stars. Sorry. Sorry, ping pong. You don't have a microprocessor. All right, this one's awesome. This is Tank from 1974. Well, it looks like this will be the one we'll leave off for today because... This is chronologically gaming. We'll be playing every single video game in order of release. So we'll pick up tomorrow with Tank. And uh, we'll catch and see you then. Thanks so much for watching. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the channel and joining me on my quest to play every single video game in order of release. This video would not be possible without LaunchBox and RetroArch. Maybe you know what it's gonna be next. I don't know what's gonna be next. But either way, we'll see you next time as we play every single video game chronologically.